Okay, remember the jealous whites, Jews, and LGBT people from the governing class have ordered people to fume me to change my voice. But bear with me, I'll make this short. The beast is said to have the mouth of a lion and the feet of a bear. Okay, this is key here. We'll get to this. So, the sword has devoured their prophets like a ravenous lion. We see the, the formula in the Bible where when they say like a, that's, you know, a sign that people should think of that figurative idea in a way that connects to the other idea. So the sword, which is figurative, is like a figurative ravenous lion. The mouth of the lion is like a sword, you know, like the, the teeth of the lion. Okay. So we see in Joel 1.6, it talks about a nation, a mighty army, without number, with the teeth of a lion, and the fangs of a lioness is hell-bent on destroying, right? The world, the Jews, what have you. Destroying their human value, what makes them worthwhile, what makes them, you know, worth marrying, what makes the life worth living, what have you. And then they go to hell. The whole world. We see that in Isaiah 34. We see that the lion is referred to as, as a destroyer of nations to lay waste the land and the nations in Jeremiah 4.